Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services Europe channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an HMS server running on Windows Server 2019 on Google Cloud Platform. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. So simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the zone or region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements and also the disk space according to your requirements as well. And then you can leave the network settings as default. Scroll down at the end, you're going to simply click on the accept the agreement and then click on deploy. After this, you're going to want to wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for this, what you want to do is that you want to click on this drop down arrowhead right over here and then you want to click on set windows password. Basically, we are going to create the credential account to log into our Windows Server 2019. So give yourself a username. So I'm going to call mine as CIS admin and then click on set. After this, you need to wait for the process to be finished and you will be provided with a password. So once the password is being displayed to you, copy this password and save it inside a secure file. After that, simply close this dialog box and then click on RDP or you can just go over here, click on the hamburger icon and then click on compute engine. And then from here, you can see your virtual machine is listed over here. You're going to simply copy this external IP address of your virtual machine and then hit windows and type for remote desktop connection. And then in the computer field, you're going to type in the IP address of your virtual machine. And then you're going to click on show options. And then you're going to type in the username that you have just created. And then click on connect. After that, you would be prompted to provide the password that was shown to you earlier. So paste that in and then click on OK. And after that, it is going to prompt you that you're trying to connect to a remote desktop connection. So hit yes and then wait for the connection to be established. And once the connection has been established, you also need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now, once inside the Windows Server, what you want to do is that you want to configure the HML server. So for that, simply click on this icon and launch the HML admin portal or panel. And after that, simply click on localhost and then click on connect. And it is going to ask you for the HML server's password. Now to get this password, you need to head back to Google Cloud and from here, simply click on the name of your virtual machine. Now this is going to show you the details of your virtual machine. Now this instance ID is your password for HML server. So copy that and then open up the remote desktop connection and paste the password inside here and then simply click on OK. Now this is going to bring up the HML server administrator panel. Now to start configuring, you need to first add in your domain. So click on add domain and then type in the domain name on which the mailing service has been enabled. So for example, if my domain is something.com, I would simply type that over here and then click on save. The next step is to actually add accounts to this domain. So click on accounts and then click on add. So if I want to add an account for the admin user, so I would type that in. So that would become admin at the rate of something.com. And I also need to provide the password for this admin account. Once that is done, simply click on save and you're done setting up an account. Similarly, you can set up multiple accounts to this domain on this HML server. Now to make sure that this HML server is working perfectly for incoming and outgoing mails, you need to configure the SMTP protocol. For that, simply click on this plus icon right next to settings, which is going to expand the settings and then expand the protocols and then simply click on SMTP. Now in this panel, you're going to shift over to the delivery of email tab and over here, you're simply going to type in the complete name of the local hostname. So for example, it is going to look something like mail.something.com. In the SMTP relayer field, enter the hostname of your ISP's email server along with your credentials on that server. So for me, it's going to be something like this and then click on this button that says server requires authentication and then type in the credentials on that ISP server. At the end, click on save and now you're done with setting up your HML server. 
Now that also brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And also make sure to check out the links in the description box for the step by step blog post guide on how to set up HML server on Google Cloud and also for the marketplace listing for Google Cloud. And we have also included a link in the description box which is of the official documentation by HML server. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.